the fastest striking snake on the planet. The fastest strike speed. Faster than the blink of an eye. Fastest striking snakes. One of the fastest striking venomous snakes. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at the fastest striking snake in the world. This is a topic I had kind of dropped the ball with because I haven't looked into it in a long, long time. I've seen a lot of arguments about it online, so I decided to dig into it, do a little research, and let you know what I find. So let's start with number five, and this is kind of a dubious number five, the Gaboon Viper. Strength is lightning fast, and like you just saw, they pretty much just swim. He hits the ground, and he's off, and he's moving. They cover some pretty good territory really quick. That's one thing a lot of people do not understand. There's been this obsession with rectilinear movement in Gaboon Vipers and Puff Adders, whereby people just have got into the habit of assuming that they always walk on their ribs like a caterpillar, but they don't. They can move. The whole point of the Gaboon Viper's evolution is for it to never travel far. It's an ambush predator. It likes to sit and wait. It's got a very fast strike and a strong strike as well. This slow snake has the fastest strike speed. It's a Gaboon Viper, and it has the longest fangs of any venomous snake. It has the highest venom yield of any snake and in just one single bite, it can inject seven milliliters of venom. There's that claim of it being the fastest snake in the world, in terms of striking, that is. So we'll, we'll have a little look at what I found in a second. So yeah, that is pretty fast. That was lightning fast, and that was a predatory strike rather than a defensive strike. Meet the Gaboon Viper. These nope ropes are only found in Sub-Saharan Africa. And you'll notice that they move like a caterpillar. They look really slow, but do not let that fool you. These bad boys have one of the fastest strikes of any snake on earth. 200 miles an hour or 20 feet per second. <laughs> That's basically a mini F1 car coming for your soul. So no, 200 miles per hour is not possible for any snake. And there's a few reasons for this. First reason is that if they struck at 200 miles per hour and they hit a prey item, the prey item would explode and they would just fracture every bone in their head. Um, so, you know, it really doesn't increase your evolutionary fitness if you die before you even reproduce because you, you know, smash yourself to bits every time you try and eat. Also, if they did strike that fast and they missed a prey item, they'd probably ping themselves down the road like an elastic band or their muscles, their tendons, and their fascia, and the muscular insertions on the bones would all just go <laughs> and shred to pieces. So, no. I like that guy's content, I think he's fun, but that claim is definitely an exaggeration. What we do know about the Gaboon Viper is that their strike duration is very, very fast. It's between 60 to 100 milliseconds, and that's why I put it at number 5, because it is definitely as fast as at least three of the other four species on this list, but we need a more precise number before we can say this is the third fastest or fourth fastest or whatever. So for now it's at number five, but on a good day it could be higher up this list. Now let's take a look at number four, the Puff Adder. This is the Bittus Arietans, AKA the Puff Adder. This snake is related to the Gaboon Viper. Not only does it have a very dangerous venom, but it's one of the fastest striking snakes in the entire world. At least he said one of the fastest, not the fastest. The oblivious mouse wanders straight into the strike zone. The assault takes a quarter of a second, faster than the blink of an eye. Yes, that is technically faster than the blink of an eye. I believe a, an eye blinking is 100 milliseconds plus and puff adders have been recorded at 87 milliseconds on average in one study. African puff adder. Look at the colors on this baby. Wow, this right here is the fastest striking snake on the planet. So I wanna be really careful with this guy. There's that claim again. It probably is the fastest in Africa, but as we're about to see, not on the planet. There you go, defeated by a puff of wind. <laughs> Don't count on that though, if you do see one, I would say definitely um, just leave instead. Anyway, now for number three on the list, and a very well-deserved one is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Today I'm feeding my Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, and I'm gonna slow down his strike so you can see just how fast they strike. There it was, and here it is in slow motion. Nice job. No. That was Herpin Hippie, he's got a really cool channel. He's on YouTube and TikTok, I believe. 
and he's just an all-round cool guy and does some nice educational stuff so do check it out but yeah that strike is fast i mean they really deserve the reputation of being one of the fastest snakes The only thing worse than being cruel is being cruel and stupid at the same time. Although it did demonstrate that the snake didn't actually need to be fast with that kind of handling. You can get bitten even if the snake's a bit sleepy or been through massive amount of stress as that one probably had. Always an incredible sight to see. The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake is one of the fastest striking snakes in the world. They were recorded in one study at an average of 71 milliseconds strike duration. And that's just like an icon of the American West. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please do like and subscribe. We've just gone past 10,000 subscribers, which is amazing. There's over 10,000 people already who want to see snakes in an educational and fascinating light rather than a dramatized manner. And what's even more amazing is that I've had some of the people in these clips comment favorably about the channel. Doesn't mean they agree with every single thing I say, but it does mean that they've recognized I'm trying to do something positive for the animals. And I think that is great. So really, the new goal is 100,000 subscribers within a year. Now, number two on the list, the Cottonmouth. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. I barely even moved, brought the snake tongs back and it struck at me. Not necessarily good for me. Oh, did you see that? Another strike. Now when I say this moccasin is big, it's almost an understatement. I'm there we go, making cotton mouths look scary again. One thing you did say that's true though is that they are big. They're big chunky snakes when they're adults. They're very heavy bodied, but they're incredibly fast. In terms of velocity achieved during the extension phase of the strike, I think they have achieved the fastest speed recorded. Yeah, as you can see, incredibly fast. They are a very, very fast species of snake. And I think their overall strike duration was 66 milliseconds in one very well noted study. Watch this cotton mouth peacefully make its way off the trail. Now that was a smart lady. You see all these people with like degrees in biology and masters and stuff, grabbing the snakes, yanking them around, upsetting them, uh, making them look scary and dangerous. That woman did something incredibly smart. She saw a cotton mouth on the trail. So she stops at a distance, waits for it to move. When she sees it's going one way, she moves the other way and then there's no problem, the snake just leaves. It's a very overhyped snake in terms of how aggressive or dangerous it is. It's almost part of folklore now, but there is truth in the fact that it's very fast striking and it is documented as having the second fastest strike recorded. Now we'll take a look at the first snake on this list, the deaf adder. I think it was a common deaf adder these recordings came from, but after that I'll explain a little bit about why you can argue with any of these findings if you want to and why a peer-reviewed study isn't always the be-all and end-all. Exceptionally fast strike. Um, it really is just like a like a snip. It's incredible. Year round, the death adder employs a tactic where it makes its prey do all the hard work. Yeah, fascinating species all round. And as far as I know, deaf adders have been recorded as having a strike duration of 40 to 60 milliseconds, which is incredibly fast for any animal and definitely makes them the fastest on this list as far as we know so far. I just bought this new rough skill, death adder, one of the fastest striking and most venomous snakes on the entire planet. 
Now let's go ahead and unbox this big girl and get her all settled in her new enclosure up there. First off, we're gonna go ahead and undo the little clip here because that's what's keeping the lid intact right now. Now we're gonna take our little snake hook here and flip the lid up without using our hands because these are one of the fastest striking venomous snakes on the entire planet. Definitely not one to free handle. So overall, there you have it. My research, as far as I can tell, looking at the literature out there um, and most of it using high-speed cameras, my research tells me that the Death Adder is the fastest striking snake on the planet in terms of snakes that we've recorded so far. Now, for the surprise contenders, <laughs> there was actually a study, um, some of the facts from this video I used from this study actually, that also found that rat snakes had a strike and a strike velocity almost as fast as some of the other snakes on this list. So there is a theory that many colubrid snakes, rat snakes and kin, could be as fast or almost as fast as the, the viprids and the um, other snakes on here, the elapids that we've seen that have very, very fast strikes. So the potential contenders are essentially two thirds of all the other snakes on the planet. And this is why you can't always say that a peer reviewed study is the be all and end all. Science, I'm guilty of this myself, I'll say, well, there's a peer reviewed study on this but I don't always specify that some studies are better than others. Science is about arguing, basically, and peer-reviewed studies are notoriously varied in how in-depth they are. One of the main problems, for example, is sample size. Some of these studies that found for snake strike speed had a sample size of like 12 snakes. The ideal sample size, for example, would be every single snake in the whole species versus 12. So you see, you can't just say that's it for sure. And there's also variables going on here that we need to think about. Were any of the snakes in the study building follicles? Were they going through other hormonal changes we don't know about? Were they having an off day? Was their body condition lower? Did they have a lower muscle composition versus fat in comparison to the other snakes in the study, even of the same species? We really don't know this stuff and it's all very variable. So the good old Gaboon Viper that I put at number five, on a good day might be number two. So it's always worth debating and it's always worth putting forward your opinions on things. I'm just presenting the evidence as best we have it now. But what I don't want to do is to say, this is final, because nothing's ever final in science. And one day we might find a snake that is even faster than the Death Adder. So overall, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll like and subscribe and I will try and come up with something even more interesting next week if possible. Thank you very much.